guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating this look. I am so happy with this look. It is super simple, it is super easy. You can definitely recreate this look. And if you do, I definitely love to see your recreation. So don't forget to tag me on your pictures on social media. In this video, I've used a lot of new products or products that are new to me. All the products that I picked up in Dubai, some products that I picked up here. So it's like a first impressions, but also a tutorial. And I wanted to keep it simple. So if you're a beginner, you can definitely still recreate this look. By the way, can we just appreciate this highlighter though? Oh my god, I've had this highlighter for about two to three weeks now, but I haven't used it on camera and I was so excited to use it on camera today. You will see my excitement when I use it. And by the way, I'm rocking my natural hair today. So I hope you guys are excited and I want to wish you a very happy new year. I hope this year turns out to be the best year of your life and you reach your goals and you find happiness. I want to thank you for watching my videos, for your love. If you've ever liked or left a comment under my videos, you've definitely made a difference in my life. I read everything you guys say on here, on Instagram, everywhere. And you guys are the most amazing, motivating, uplifting people in the world. You guys are the reason why I continue to do what I do. I just love you guys so much. I know I don't say it a lot, but... I do, I'm just not a mushy person like that, but I really, really do. I'm extremely appreciative of all of my opportunities and for you guys because you guys are the reason why I'm here. And yeah, I just wanted to say at the end of this year, thank you so much for all that you've done for me. So I hope you're excited. Let's move on to the video now. It's kind of cold. <laughs> okay, I need a jacket. Okay, so let's start by putting this hair back. Oh, I can bring you guys closer a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my usual skincare prep before I like to do my makeup. I've already scrubbed my face and applied a sheet mask. So makeup should go on like butter today. By the way, if you can hear this noise, that is my bed squeaking. I have to get that fixed, but let's ignore that for now. So I'm going to start with my serum. This is the Face Shop Jeju Volcanic Lava Serum. It is supposed to reduce the size of your pores. I really, really, really love this serum. If you have oily skin and you're looking to expand your skincare routine, you'll definitely enjoy this. I personally don't have really large pores, so I cannot comment on the pore reducing quality of the serum, but I really like it. It keeps my T-zone matte for a really long time and I do really enjoy using it because it smells really nice. Then for my moisturizer, I'm going to use the Innisfree Black Green Tea Cream. I have used so much of this already and I really, really love it. It just keeps my skin super hydrated, super moisturized, especially because in the winter time, my skin can just get so dull and dry and dehydrated. And whenever I'm doing my makeup, I like my skin to be super well moisturized and prepped. And remember, you're supposed to take everything upwards because gravity is already pulling everything down. And you want to make sure that you look uplifted and happy and healthy. Now for my eye cream, I'm going to use the Innisfree Orchid Eye Cream. I have been using this for quite a while and you only need about that much. I really like it. It sits really nicely under concealer and I have really been enjoying this. Okay, let's prime. I'm gonna use the NYX Photo Loving Primer. This is the first time I'm gonna try this out because I've had this for a while but I've just never had the chance to try it out. So I'm gonna try it on right now. It definitely feels very similar to my Body Shop Matte Primer and just a lot of those silicone mattifying primers which do the job perfectly and keep you matte for a long time. It just depends on what you're looking for. This doesn't feel drying, which is good because I don't want to be dry in the winter time. I want my cheeks to glow and for that I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And this is just, I'm only going to take one pump and this is just going to go along the periphery of my face, the outside of my face, on my forehead, on my cheeks. Can you see the sudden glow? I love that. That is why prepping your skin before you do your makeup is so important so your makeup can sit really beautifully. I'm just gonna apply my corrector now. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Orange Corrector. Make sure you go over here along the inner corner of your eye because that's where people get most of their darkness. 
and just hair basically because you don't have so much darkness along the outside of the eye the darkness is mainly in the inner portion of the eye and of course around the mouth i should probably say discoloration instead of darkness because this is discoloration i'm using the pack 218 to blend that okay now for foundation i actually have two options i have the mark jacobs remarkable foundation and i also have the fenty beauty foundation i think i'm leaning a little bit towards fenty i really really want to try this out so i think i'm going to use the fenty foundation today it looks like this really nice and sleek bottle super thin and long so i'm just going to take about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand and just start applying that with my beauty blender this is by real techniques okay so let's be honest i'm a full coverage kind of girl and coverage wise this gets an a plus i love how it's looking on my skin and i also love the finish i thought that it has a really matte finish but on me the finish is looking a little bit more semi matte there's still a little bit of a glow maybe that's because i'm moisturized so much and i use the luminizing primer as well but i'm really happy with this finish it looks really natural like i've just applied a moisturizer and it does not look like foundation and i've used and i've used about 3 pumps of this on my face i usually don't apply this much foundation i'll probably just use one and a half or two pumps but it took 3 pumps to cover my entire face and i really love it it's still not looking cakey whatsoever okay so now for my concealer i have two again this is the nars radiant creamy concealer and this is the naked skin weightless concealer so which one should i try inky pinky ponky father has a donkey donkey die father cry inky pinky ponky okay so i'm going to pick this one so i'm just going to draw my usual triangles oh so this concealer is pretty thick Oh my god, I found it guys. I found a concealer that has almost the same amount of coverage as my MAC Pro Longwear concealer but is not as drying. I love how this is looking on my skin. It has covered all of my dark circles. My skin is just looking really nice and it's not looking cakey whatsoever. I'm amazed right now. Okay now let's pick so I'm going to use the RCMA no color powder for that and I'm only going to use this to set my under eye area let's get rid of the creases first Now to set the rest of my face I've actually been loving this powder this is the NYX powder foundation and I actually mix two shades This is the shade golden which is a little bit too dark for me and this is the shade natural which is just one shade lighter than my skin tone so I like to mix both of these together and it just creates a powder that has a little bit of a coverage and has a beautiful finish and I like to set the rest of my face with that So that is what it looks like it does come with a sponge but, but I don't really use that so for this I'm going to use my powder brush and this is the Sigma large powder F30 brush I absolutely love this brush for powder it is so soft oh my god you can also use this for bronzer for powder for so many things Okay now for my eyes I'm so excited to finally be able to use my Jaclyn Hill palette honestly I have no idea what look I'm going to create the warm tones are speaking to my soul but then so are the greens right here I don't know what I want to do I think I'm going to stick to the warm tones today because it is New Year's and it's been a long time since I've done a warm tone look on my channel. So, so the first shade I'm going to start with is Silk Cream and it is this one right here. So, this color is very very similar to my skin tone so it's not showing up. I'm going to take the shade Butter now and just put that in the same place. I am using my Sigma E38 brush for this. I'm going to keep building up till I reach the intensity that I want. Now I'm going to take the shade Hunts. And I have a feeling that the shade is super pigmented because when I swatched it it was super soft. So I'm going to make sure I dust my brush off really well. And then I'm going to go in the same place 
Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, I tapped it off like a crazy person, but I still got that much pigment. I'm going to take a Sigma E40 and go back to Silk Cream and I'm just going to use that to blend the edges. Now I'm going to take the shade Roxanne. I'm just going to take a little bit of Hunts and I'm literally going to dab my brush like that just once dust off the excess and and apply it into my crease picking up silk cream on the sigma e40 and blending the edges again you just want to keep repeating this step if you want a really blended blown out kind of smoky eye you know what i'm going to take a little bit of cream circle and put that right where the transition is just so we can get some yellow Okay, I like how it's looking super blended. Okay, now I'm going to pick up firework on my finger and just put that all over the lid. I'm going to spray my brush a little bit. Pick up the same color on my brush and just clean the edges a little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit of Roxanne on a Sigma E36 brush and just blend the inner corner. I'm going to line my top lash line with the Faces Ultime Pro Kajal in the shade brown. And now for my wing, I'm using the Nykaa eyeliner. This is in the shade 04. It's a brown eyeliner. and it has a brush tip so i really love it let's curl the lashes and now i'm going to try out the new l'oreal lash paradise ecstatic mascara so excited to try this honestly i love trying out different mascaras i know i have my favorites but trying out a new mascara is always super fun so this is what it looks like and here is what the wand looks like So I'm just going to put this on and see what it does for my lashes. Okay, so it's not a bad mascara by any means, but I feel like I get a better result with my Essence Lash Princess and my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um I'm not really seeing that wow factor that I see with my some of my other mascaras. So I won't be running out and getting another one of this. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take the NYX Four Blacks eyeliner in the shade Burnt Sienna. And with the Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge that in. Now, I'm going to take the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush and I'm going to take Hunts. I wish the Jaclyn Hill palette had a mirror. It would have been so much easier. But anyway, I'm just gonna take Hunts and smudge that on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take the Sigma E06 Winged Liner Brush, and I'm gonna take the shade Beam, this one, and I'm just gonna apply that in the inner corner. Now for lashes, I'm actually gonna wear. Bellamy lashes they've actually been launched recently by one of my good friends Ashma from Colors and Glitters she has launched her own lash label and she very kindly sent across three different styles so this is the first one that I've already worn this is called Starlet you can see how beautiful and wispy they are all of them come with their own lash applicator and this one is called Stardust this one is called Whimsical So I think I'm going to rewear Starlet because I just love this winged out kind of style. Actually, I am a little bit confused between Stardust and Starlet. This is what Stardust looks like and this is what Starlet looks like. I don't know which one I want to wear. Both of them are beautiful. Repeat after me. Lashes make everything better. So I popped on some lashes and I also applied some mascara on my lower lash line. So yeah, the eyes are done. Let's move back to the face. 
Actually, I'm gonna do my lips first. So I'm just taking my Kylie lip liner in the shade 30 Peach and I'm just gonna line my lips with that. Honestly, this is like my favorite lip liner of all time. It does look really beautiful by itself, but I feel like I should apply a liquid lipstick because peachy lips with a red eye is just so unique and so different. So if it doesn't look nice, I'm just gonna wear another one but let's experiment and try Dirty Peach because this is like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the pack Retro Matte Gloss in the shade number 38. Okay so this lip has turned out to be beautiful. This is a combination of Dirty Peach and Pack Retro Matte Gloss in the shade 38. Oh my god, I think it looks beautiful, this lip color. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to bronzing and contouring and for that I'm using my Kat Von D shade and light palette. This is the first time I'm gonna be using this. Everything looks so nice and pristine. I haven't even swatched them. So I'm just gonna pick up, um, I think I'm gonna pick up the center shade and I'm gonna take it on my Sigma Soft Angled F23 brush. I'm using the Sigma E40 to contour my nose. Actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow shade on a Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 and I'm just gonna sweep that under my eyes just for some extra freshness. Look at that, that instantly lifted the eye area. Okay, now for blush, I'm actually gonna mix two Sigma blushes. This one is in the shade Corderosa. It's a beautiful neutral pinky tone kind of blush. I absolutely love it. Great for everyday wear. And I'm also gonna mix it in with one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time. This is the Sigma Nightlife blush in the shade Hotspot. It's a beautiful peachy orangey kind of blush. I always wear this whenever I wear my Dirty Peach lipstick. But since I mixed it with another lipstick, I'm also gonna mix my blushes. So yeah, I'm just gonna mix both of these and apply it on my cheeks using the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. This is a great brush for blush because it is angled and you can easily apply your blush and sweep it up. I absolutely love it. It's one of my recent favorite brushes for blush. I always like to do my blush after I've done my lipstick because then I can really see how much blush I need. Okay, now for my favorite part, the highlighting. Oh my god, I've had this highlighter for about two to three weeks, but I've never actually used it on camera. So this is the highlighter I'm talking about. This is MAC Oh Darling, you guys. It took me months to find this highlighter. It's always out of stock everywhere. It was limited edition, but I found it and I'm so happy. It's like a bar of gold. It's literally just like a bar of gold. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna go back to my tapered highlighter F35 brush by Sigma and I'm gonna apply it on my face now. Hallelujah. everything with some makeup finishing spray and I'm using the pack micro finish makeup fixer this is my absolute favorite makeup setting spray of the moment So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I hope you've subscribed to my channel already. If you haven't, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. You can also click the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I have a new video up. You can also follow me on Instagram to stay updated with all the behind the scenes, when I'm filming, when I'm editing, all of that fun stuff as well as my fashion. Happy New Year to you and your family and I'm gonna see you super soon in my next one. Bye bye.